Hi, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, the fifth in our series on Wix ADI, we are going to look at the contact form, how you can add a contact form to your website and how you can make sure that it's linked to the correct email address. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. And welcome back to my Wix ADI website. In today's video, we're going to look at the contact information and contact form. So let's go ahead and scroll down and let's find our contact information. Here we go. Get in touch. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to either add a contact form or I'd like to change the contact form. Now, in order for me to show you this, I'm going to remove this section first and then I'm going to show you how you can add your own. So let's go ahead and delete this contact section. There we go. I'm going to click on the plus icon to add a new section. And I'm going to select the contact section. Now here we have a number of different designs. Again, this is using the colors from my logo that we can use to add a contact section. Now, because I do not use a physical address, I'm going to use this design. So I click on this and the section has been added. So as you can see here, it says get in touch, name, email, and the subject with a message. Now here on the left hand side, we can change all this by easily filling out the information. So let's add a quick description. There we go. We would love to hear from you. Reach out today with any questions or simply learn more about Edge of Lip. There we go. We're going to leave that. We are going to replace this image with an image I've already got on my laptop. So let's go ahead and replace the image with an image in my downloads folder. We're going to upload media from our computer and we're going to select any of these images at random. Now these are images taken during trainings. So let's go ahead and upload this file. So you can see it's 5.7 megabytes is being uploaded right now. We now have our file. We can select this file and I'm going to use this. So let's go ahead and crop and rotate the photo. Now Wix ADI has everything built into it, so we can crop and adjust images right inside the Wix ADI format. So we're going to just adjust the crop slightly. Just going to change the crop a little bit. We're also going to add a filter. Let's add a nice pop cold, maybe pop warm filter. And if we want it, we could also crop out the background, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to save this image as it is, and we're going to click on apply. And what this is going to do is going to replace the image that was here with my image. All good to go. Now this could also be a video by simply selecting the video here. And when we click on the contact form itself, we are given some extra options. And what's important to note is that we have a site email option. So here, when we click on site email, what we can do is we can change the email to which this form will be sent. So I'm going to leave this as my default email address, but you can change this right here. Now, if you still want to change your design again, you can click on designs. This is all we'd like to change to our contact form and we're happy with this. So I'm going to close the editor. Now let's go ahead and preview our website. Let's click on preview. And this is what my website will look like to the rest of the world. We have a nice big image. This could also be a video if I choose it to be. And then here we have our contact form and my email address is at the top. And also everything that is sent will be sent to my email address. And there you have it. You now have a professional looking website with a working contact form ready to be published online. Now, I hope you found this series helpful and let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed these five part series and if you would like to see more series like this in the future. As always, I will dive into the comment section and do my very best to reply to as many comments as possible. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.